Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning Morning viewers, starting off the view outside the hotel window. Uh, today, weather-wise, a little bit gloomy, but no rain predicted for the run back to the UK. So let's go to the map, because it's interesting uh, just to get the last, and where we've been actually, and um, we'll have a look at the last route, which is pretty much down the fast roads, and uh, all the way back to Calais. So here we are, last day. Uh, last night we stayed at Reims, uh, popped in to see the cathedral, came back and then uh, sat watching <laughs> a little bit of Euro 2024. Um, and then we headed off, or we'll head off this morning after breakfast uh, and uh, take this route all the way through uh, to Lons, to Bethune, or just past that, and then down to Calais, we'll catch the train and then back to the UK. Um, so that's pretty straightforward really, no twist is involved in that. But So let's look at where we started. So we started here, the UK, came across Dunkirk, went into France, then we went into Belgium. Uh, a little stop at uh, Hougemont, and then carried on all the way through France. Uh, and then we stopped here in Germany um, by the lake at Sipplingen. Then into Austria. Uh, then over to this this map here. Um, did some of the passes into Germany, and then twisting around in between Germany and Austria. Finally coming down and stopping in Italy. Um, here in Cortina, and then from Italy doing a few more passes. Um, all the way through to eight and then all the way a little bit crossing the border again coming back stopping down here by Lake Garda number nine turning over the map still in Italy getting a little bit warmer now which was nice then all the way through um, into Switzerland a few more passes and then stopping in Lugano uh, and then carrying on through from Bern, Switzerland, sorry that was Lugano down here up there in the um, sort of mountains and then through to Bern 14 uh, where we stopped crossing the border back into France up to here and then France all the way through nice long ride where we are in Reims and then finally back on, so quite a route. Yeah, really good, 16 days. Um, so this last episode, you'll see us heading back home. Would be too, um, hope you've enjoyed all the episodes as well. So we've enjoyed making them, lots of fun, and um, lots of stories to tell the family, and also um, you know, to reminisce, that's why we do it really. Um, plans for the next big one, oh, I don't know. Portugal maybe somewhere somewhere a little bit warmer mm -hmm. so we're going to come down so we don't have to wear so many, so many clothes in June but that's where we tend to go off but uh, might be a few uh, adventures before then um, yeah yeah we're off to America so uh, yeah New Hampshire in uh, in October <laughs> yeah um, so we might put that on the um, on the channel as well so breakfast pack up on the road speak to you soon Okay, so here we are at the uh, Circuit de Gur, um, which is just on the D27. It's amazing because they've just left it. The track was first used in 1926, and it was used for the French Grand Prix Formula One from 1950 to 1966, and uh, it was eventually closed in 1972. Uh, it's looked after by a group of enthusiasts. Uh, les Amis de Circuit de Gueux. Um, 
and um, you can go online and have a look at their link but they keep it going and you can get into the ground so it's amazing that this was the Formula One track so <laughs> now a public road quite amazing so we left the hotel made our way straight here it's literally 10 minutes away from where we were staying so if you're a fan of uh, Formula One, this is the place to uh, to come. speed up along there as well so the likes of uh, Surtees must have been here and uh, Sterling Moss yeah amazing really isn't it that they No, no. Well, yeah, but the thing is that Formula One was held here from 50 to 66 on the French Grand Prix, wasn't it? And so uh, we are now homeward bound. So we're just going to race along here, so we were Formula One. <laughs> up to the roundabout and back again. So now we're on our way to Calais. Which of course isn't going to be the most thrilling of uh, journeys, but uh, unfortunately it's uh, need, needs must. We've got to get back, get to the train. We'll probably be there nice and early. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, there's always a chance you can get on the train early, isn't there? So, uh, sometimes, yes, when you turn up on two wheels, they'll squeeze you on. They don't like to miss an opportunity to get everyone else out. Go back the other way now. <laughs> Slightly impromptu stop, and he uh, got onto the motorway. Realised we've got to do about 170 odd miles, and the temperature is not nice. <laughs> well, I was feel feeling a bit chilly, so putting in another layer on was uh, the order of the day. And we're on a payage, which is a. Uh, That's our first, in fact, our first payage, isn't it? Oh yeah, we popped a couple, that's it, you know, on the way here. But otherwise we've done all right. Haven't managed to incur anything really. Good. I got what you need. Yeah, under the 
through passport control. It was nice, uh, nice and easy. And now we're heading to the train. Britannia. There you go. No disciples. It doesn't really matter which one you take. No, we're not flexy, are we? So my uh, little parsi. Oh. Well, I think they're stopping, so uh, just to make sure it's uh, on the list. So we're just waiting to board the train. We are imminent. And we are 45 minutes early, which is uh, quite a good shout. Had a little um, stop at the sort of terminal. Did you buy some wine? Uh, we've got some. We've got some sparkling French wine for this evening. Uh, celebratory, <laughs> celebratory return home to go with our takeaway because we're definitely not shopping. Things to do when we get back, got to go and pick up the KTM because that was in for a service and a uh, MOT, so pork repair, that's right, so that's got to be get picked up and then tomorrow we pick up the new Mini Cooper, Clubman actually, Mini Clubman, which I've uh, decided to buy a new car, get rid of my MX-5. Which, yeah, well and truly gone, isn't it? Sold. So, uh, yeah, busy, uh, busy next 24 hours for us. And it all came at the wrong time, really, just as we uh, were going away on holiday. But there you go. That's what happens. Yep. I bet a few people have scratched that train. Be a few people scratched the sides of their cars getting on this thing.
Right, they are moving now up ahead, so that's good. <laughs> what could he possibly be doing? <laughs> <coughs> Probably on his phone. Yeah, because there's nothing else to do really, is there? <laughs> Except get off the train. You need to look at your phone at that point with the door open. Ah, now we're back in the UK, aren't we? Because he wasn't French, he was English. Okay. Still, the sun shines on the righteous. It looks like it looks like we are leaving in the sun. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a did anyone think you were in another, another country? <laughs> There's probably some visor down as well. So, back to crowded roads, angry, angry people. predicted though to be 19 degrees and it's 21.5 degrees yeah it's actually very nice indeed okay so um, that was our little tour to Europe We're now back in the UK and uh, heading for home so if you uh, liked our uh, little tour videos today and other days, then please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, please comment as well, anything you think we could improve, anything you didn't particularly like, let me know, we can maybe fix things for the next tour. Otherwise, be safe out there, if you're a rider, Safe on two wheels, definitely, stay safe. And um, if you're not, maybe you'd like to get on two wheels, uh, pass your test and enjoy all the things that we do when we're out and about. Until then, I'll speak to you soon. Just you and me, baby